All right, today we're going to do the Imagine Dragons song, It's Time. And I'm not going to deal with the riff at the beginning, the... I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just going to show you simplified way to get through the chords of the song. Not the exact way you hear on the recording, but a simple way that you can get through the five chords with as little uh, effort as possible and you can play and sing the song yourself. So the first thing we're going to do is the first chord, which is going to be a D chord. We're going to play the D string open. The For this song, I'm going to recommend you play the G string second fret with your middle finger, which you can also play with your index finger if you prefer, but you'll see why I choose the middle finger in a moment and you're gonna put your ring finger on the third fret on the B string and you're gonna keep that finger there for every single chord so this is gonna be your anchor for all your other chords so so right now that chord might seem awkward to play like that but the reason is because the next chord the uh, which is an A type of chord what you're going to do for that is, from here, all you have to do is, instead of the open D string, you're going to put your index finger on the second fret of the D string, and then add the open A string, which is going to give you... Okay. All right, now the third chord is going to be a type of B minor chord, and what we're going to do here is, you're going to keep your ring finger and your middle finger in the same place. You're going to take your index finger off so the D string is open and you're going to move it to the A string second fret. So now you have okay and for the final chord of the verse it's going to be a G chord and we're going to take the middle finger off and move it to the low E string 3rd fret, okay, so the middle finger came off the G string, so that string is now open. Okay, so we have middle finger, 3rd fret, index finger, 2nd fret of the A string, D string open, G string open, and our ring finger is still anchored, 3rd fret, B string. Okay, and what we're going to do is, uh, you can either just strum through it, Like the recording, you can just do strum, stop, strum, stop, strum, stop. And the way I'm doing that, if you want to do that, I'm just strumming downward and literally just stopping the strings with my palm and then strumming again. Okay? So if you do it that way, then you have this going through those chords for the first verse, for example. So this is what you meant When you said that you were spent And now it's time to build From the bottom of the pit Right to the top Don't hold back Back in my bags And gave them the academy A rain check I don't ever want to let you down I don't ever want to leave this town After all, the city never sleeps at night. Okay, so like I said, for that D string, for the D chord, you can either use your middle finger or your index finger on the second fret of the G string. Okay, so that's how each verse goes. Now when you get to the chorus, we're going to add one more chord in, okay? which is going to, we're going to play like this. We're going to start on the D chord. Okay, then we're going to go to our B minor chord. Alright, now is where we're going to add an E minor type of chord. So what we're going to do there is, you're going to take from the B minor, okay, you're going to take your middle finger, which is on the G string 2nd fret, you're going to take that off, you're going to move it 
downward one string, so now we're on the D string second fret, and the G string is open. Okay, and your index finger is going to stay on this A string second fret where it was, and then you're going to play the low E string open. So now we have... Okay, and then we finish up with the G chord. So, it's time to begin, isn't it? I get a little bit bigger, but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was. Now, don't you understand that I'm never changing who I am? Okay, then you have a little section where the riff comes in but that section just goes through the same verse progression okay and then the second verse is the same as the first the only time uh, we need to change now is when we get to the bridge okay and what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go I'll show you the strumming pattern but we're gonna go B minor okay and then we're gonna go to the A chord then the G, then the E minor, then back to the G, and then back to the A. Okay, so that's going to give us, it's going to be like this. We're going to strum four times, and then we're going to mute and strum four times. So we're going to go, first chord is the B minor. Okay, so we're going... Just alternate, down, up, down, up. Okay, now how am I doing this? Well, your right hand just keeps going down, up, down, up. Now, with your left hand, the way that you can accomplish this, I mean, you can accomplish it many different ways, but... Basically, what I do is I relax all my fingers so they're not pushing the frets down, and I'll even bring my pinky in to really, I mean, even if it was just my pinky, see, it kind of, so, what I've done is relax all my fingers so they're not, they're just sitting on the frets. They're not, they're just sitting on the strings, they're not pressing the frets down. And my, I bring my pinky up for good measure, because you don't want any of the notes to come out. Just do the same thing for every one. You're doing one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four with the mute. So the bridge will actually sound like this. This room never looked so lonely. This house doesn't burn down slowly. Two ashes, two ashes. What we do for the outro, the very last time the chorus comes through, is you play through the bridge chord progression, but you sing uh, the chorus. So, in other words, we do the same B minor, A, G, E minor, G, A. So we go, it's time to begin. song just ends strumming a D chord. Alright, well I hope that helped you. It's a very simplified way 
to get through the song, and I hope you enjoy it.